So I have a new Hermes bag to show you. I'm very tired and I've got a very tall space. I keep talking to people and they're like... You're going to see me going to Harrods to have some filler. Hello everyone, welcome back to a video. I am so happy to be filming videos again. Um, I had a break in January, uh, which I will explain in a few months. It's a bit echoing here, it's because I've got no blinds, that's why. Um, so, I've come back with a good video, all the things that you like. So I have, right at the very end, I have an Hermes reveal. And that is, I've had it for three months, that bag. It's my most worn bag that I have today from Hermes. It's amazing and I clear up whether it's a quota bag, it's a very underestimated bag to so stay on to the end to uh, see that. A lot of skincare, so just to give you, um, you're going to see me go into Harrods to have some filler and Botox, which I know you like seeing. So I'm going to share that. But just bear in mind, we're going to go back in time, and that was at the start of December. My skin journey's come a long way. It took me a long time. It was looking amazing. Then I had to have this medical treatment in January. The stress and the medication, it really ruined my skin. So I had to, and we're going to talk about that just briefly. Um, yeah, that's it. I mean, I think it's a pretty good vlog, so um, I'm going to... Try and sort out this echo and then we'll get into it. So in the next video, I am going to share with you the wardrobe reveal. And it's not all finished, but it's been dragging out. You're basically seeing a lot of it now, but next video is going to be the wardrobe reveal. It's a good one. So let's get into this video. Okay, so what happened? In January, I had medical treatment and it really took a toll on my skin. So I had to, I had a really good routine to maintain my skincare. But skin is so high maintenance that I had to then kind of address all of the problems. And I have to avoid a lot of skincare ingredients because my skin is so dry and it's very sensitive. And it took me a lot of trial and error to find what works for me. But I needed to do something like have some strong ingredients to bring it back. It was just very dull. I was having breakouts and I haven't had that for a long time. Um, so... I'm going to quickly talk through now how many of these earrings. I took them to Paris. I'll, um, I'll link them below alongside these t-shirts that I found, which are high street. They're amazing. So this is the killer product that I want to talk to you about. I've left a little, um, filmed a little video, which I'll share with you in a second. Basically, I have avoided retinol for a while because my skin is so dry and retinol is a really drying ingredient. And retinol is something that there are so many to choose from. So it gets a bit overwhelming and then I can't trial and error with retinol because if my skin gets any more dry than it is, it's not worth the hassle. So I'm a real big fan of Beauty Balm Youth Balm. That is my third serum that I have. So I'm a real fan of these two, the serum and the 360 serum and the face cream. This is the third product for the Youth Bomb family. Um, and before I get started on Youth Bomb and Beauty Pie, Beauty Pie is a direct-to-consumer brand, which basically means you get luxury product for a much lower price. You can sign up to their membership and the, the savings that you make are crazy. So use my discount code, I think it's still Claire sent me, and you'll get a discount off your membership. It's really worth it because it's an all-round beauty brand. They do things from nail polish, which is my favourite nail polish ever. Look, my favourite nail polish. I ordered six of these. We'll get into the skincare, but... I ordered six of these after my first one because it is the most amazing red. And you know when you've used the very last of it and it gets like sticky because it's the very end. It's my last one. Um, it's the best, the best nail polish ever. Their brow gel is the best ever. What else do I love? Oh, it's in here. I've got it already. How organized. This is amazing. It's their super healthy hair serum. And what I love about Beauty Pie is how big their products are. Like everything is so big and I'm not used to big products because I love luxury skincare and you normally get tiny products. So there are a few of my other favorite bits. So Beauty Pie is 
an all-rounder, it's not just skincare, it's all things beauty, and the prices are so amazing because they cut out the middleman, they have, like use their own labs, and it's direct to consumer, so don't forget to use that discount. Okay, so why is this so amazing? I'm gonna let you see the video because it might be boring you, the little one that I made, but basically this is a double retinol, so it has a lot of retinol, so you're going to see good results. Retinol is really good for brightening the skin, but it's a slow release retinol, which is so important if you have sensitive skin like me. It's really, really important. It will stop it being so harsh because the slow release is kind of, it's more gentle. And it has hyal hyaluronic acid and ceramides that really counteracts the dryness. So if, if you've got dry skin like me and you've got sensitive skin like me, this retinol is amazing and you get such a large large bottle, bottle and the price is really good so I'm a huge fan I was a bit worried to use it at first because I haven't been able to use retinol for a long time after two days I saw brightness it reacts really fast and you're going to find that in the other video I don't want to keep repeating myself but you'll see quick results slow releasing and it's a retinol that won't dry out your skin and it's an amazing price so I'll leave you with a little video because then you can see an action and more of a detailed description I will leave you with that and then we'll come back for another chat. Introducing another member of the Youth Born family, Double Retinol Serum by Beauty Pie. If like me, you suffer from dryness of the skin, this retinol is ideal for you. Why? Because it contains hyaluronic acid and ceramides to create a barrier. Dryness doesn't even get a chance. It's also great for sensitive skin as it's a slow releasing retinol. Youth Bond Retinol Serum supports collagen and the lactic acids break down the skin cells, allowing the skin to look brighter. This also speeds up the retinol process, resulting in a faster result. I saw results just after a few days. After two weeks of using this, I can see a strong positive change in my skin. And because it's Beauty Pie, you're getting a luxury product for a direct consumer, lower price. Use my code, Claire sent me, for a discount off your membership at Beauty Pie. I also recommend trying this retinol with the other Youth Bomb members, the 360 Facelift Serum and the Youth Bomb Biological Collagen Peptide Cream. I love using these three together. Okay, did that make sense? Um, then you can see everything that I was talking about and the reasons why it's very great for great sensitive skin and slow releasing and brightening. So I'm a huge fan, been using that since I filmed that video, I'm on week three now. So it's really, really helped it get back. Like I had, you see like these, I had these like breakouts everywhere. But the main thing is, is that my skin went so dull and I think it was just like the stress, the medication that I was on just made me look so dull. I mean, I'm not surprised. Um, so really happy that I've got that back on track and then uh, maybe I can get back to where I was when you see me in the second part of this video. So that was the video. You will see more of what I was talking about in regards to why it's slow releasing, why it's brightening, why it's very good for sensitive and dry skin. So I hope that was helpful. Do not forget to use my discount code, Claire sent me. The way that Beauty Pie works is you get the discount. So I'll put up the price of the retinol, for example, if you just buy it as a one-off, and then I'll put up the price here what the cost will be if you have a membership and it more than balances out like i worked it out i pay for my own membership i don't get that gifted i don't get a discount on my membership i fully pay for it myself so i did the calculation and even if it was worth like you know five to ten pound off per product for something expensive you know let's say 10 or 20 percent it was worth it but it's a huge discount and you can literally buy it so much, you'll be addicted. So don't forget to use my discount. I'll link some of my other favorite things, um, like hydronic acid, the brow gel, the self-tanner, I'm going to do that tonight. The self-tanner is the only tanner I can use without having a breakout. I know there's so many tanners on the market, there's so many, I've used so many amazing ones in the past, but it reacts with my skin, my skin is so sensitive. Um, and I have been using it since the summer. I will try and find the video where you can see in detail the result. The self tanner is amazing. I use the, the not so dark one, there's two, and I use the not so dark one. And I'm a huge fan. So I'll leave you with the second part of this video. It's a lovely little vlog of me in London and one of the best Dermos bags I've ever, ever bought. So I'll leave you with that next part of the video and I'll link everything below that you've seen in this video in the description box. And I will see you in my next video where you can see my wardrobe reveal. 
So we did some baby Botox around the eyes, targeting the depressor muscle groups, everything that brings everything down so that it relaxes them and opens and lifts your eyes up and gives you a really nice natural looking brow lift. And we did something new with the nose, didn't we? With yes. Botox so, to lift it. Yes, yeah, so we added some Botox just in the depressor um, muscle that drags the tip of the no nose down to relax that and just uh -huh. upturn it. So it's all about targeting the things that bring everything down to relax them and open them. Um, and we only did a tweak because when I first met you, yeah. we did an overhaul, didn't we? And then yeah. now, two it's years just on, so yeah, fillers tweaking. actually last a lot longer than people think they do. Um, uh, yeah, so some fillers will last up to eight years in, in some in certain individuals. These are oh, really? acid fillers. Yes. I came in and said, "I need all new fillers," and she won't do it. No. She says, "I don't need it." The nose is absolutely straight on the side. Your side profile is perfect. I was trying to hold this umbrella but it kept flying away so he said you'll be ridiculous, let me do it. So basically, Kelly has got an umbrella and normally I'm not like this. I'm not normally this precious person over my bags but it is box leather and if you get box leather wet um, it can really damage it. Not like Epson or Togo, they can get completely wet. So just if you do have a box bag, if it gets wet in the rain it can really damage it, it like starts cracking. Um, so yeah, the, uh, get, Kelly's got an umbrella. I can see it better here. What are you doing? Put in? Holding my bag. So yeah, you have to buy tickets, so we're going to buy one now. So I'm very tired and I've got a Botox face. I keep talking to people and they're a bit like... Um, so I advise two things. Don't come after a full day's work like me because I'm so exhausted and you need to be full of energy to chat with so many people to make it work it. And I'd also suggest come knowing exactly what you want. I come looking for one thing. And uh, yeah, otherwise you'll just be here for hours and hours and then you'll kind of feel like you've not come out with anything. So it's very overwhelming. It's like the tenth of the size of PV, so it's more manageable and less overwhelming. I really recommend coming, but know exactly what you're coming for. I can't even speak because my mouth is just numb. But we're gonna do one more with round, and then I need to go home. Okay, second part of this video. Um, I'm just about to film another room reveal in my house, actually. So if you're not following my home Instagram account, do go and follow. It's at Claire Chanel Home, and for this YouTube channel, I'll be sharing a lot of home updates here and in the south of France. So I have two room reveals coming here and my studio, which was meant to be finished for the launch, but you know how building work is, that never happens. So lots of exciting room reveals, gonna go and film one now. Um, also packing to go away, so I won't share how this looks down here. My jumper is really greased. I had a huge wardrobe clear out, it felt so good. I really recommend doing that, I always recommend. I have one huge one each year. And the last two years I've just given everything to charity. But this year I wanted to be a little bit more productive. So six bags to charity. The rest I kind of let my friends at. And then the remainder from that will go on Depop. So, um, and I've got my friend like doing it all for me. So yeah, really getting together with the house. Let's quickly talk about my skin. I'm so sorry that I didn't film with no makeup. But the best thing about having the fractional laser and the Botox is your makeup goes on so well. So let me try and get a bit close. It just goes on so easy. So so many of you that have had that facial or you've had Botox. So I've still got a lot of movement here um, and you see the real results in two weeks. But I just, I love going to see Marwa. I just love how I feel afterwards. And my lips, they're so subtle. I have got lipstick on them. So it's going to be a little bit fuller than normal. I tried to film a video, but it was so sunny I kept blinking. But I'll put them up because it's about seeing my skin. That was the day after. The day after seeing Malwa. So no redness. If anything, less redness than before. And I'm someone that gets a lot of red skin. I have a lot of loose skin around my eyes because of all the steroids I've used over the years. Um, so it gets better and better and better. In two weeks you see a really in, like amazing improvement. And then like Marwa said, it gets better and better. And then the fillers, I don't ever top up. Lips, like maybe once a year. But the reason why I do lips is because, like most people, my cupid's bow is awkward, is odd. 
so when I put my lip liner on after I have them done it's like a breeze because I don't have to build up the left side not that I bother doing that really but it just looks even so I'm so happy with seeing Marwa Can, cannot re recommend her enough she's so quick as well and I asked her to put filler in my temples because I had that the very first time I saw her haven't had it since I asked her for that and she said no nope, you don't need it she's really good at saying you don't need it and I convinced myself that I needed more in my nose and um, she was like, Claire, you absolutely don't, don't need it. All I did was a bit of Botox here that apparently lifts it up. So if you don't want to put a filler in your nose, maybe go and try that. But it is very, very important who you go and see because too much filler, like I've seen so many people with perfect shaped noses, but they're like perfectly angled, but they're so big. And then they end up building and building and building their face up and it becomes very masculine, but not a good masculine look. So I'll leave her details below, go follow her on her Instagram, you can contact her at the Harrods Wellness Clinic or book from her in her Instagram. So that's the skin, that's my results, I'll share lots of bare face results, um, like progression on my Instagram, so go follow my Instagram as well, Claire Chanel. What else do I, I think that's it, just to show you how the skin looks, did I show you? So that's how my skin looks after fractional laser little bit of baby boy Botox and a tiny bit of filler. So that's what I had done. New me, fresh for the year. I won't need anything until winter now. Um, if you just get a little bit done right, that's it. Just a little refresh. She did a lot of work on my face 18 months ago. No, yeah, about 18 months ago. Yeah, 18 months ago. And I just have the odd tweak every six months. So, I have this bag here that I've actually packed. So I have a new Hermes bag to show you. Um, I actually got this a couple of months ago, but I haven't, no, maybe a month ago, and I haven't shown you. So this one, that is not even the bag I'm showing you. This is one that I'm packing. Did you want to see how I pack all my Hermes bags when I tra travel long haul? I won't do it in this video, but, um, so the bag is actually here. It's not in the box. Obviously I have the box. I'm sure I took like a selfie of me buying it or something. No, I didn't. Um, but let me just get into it. And then I'll show you the bag. I'll show you bag and then we can talk about it afterwards. So I know that there was no apprehensive unboxing here. Like, like I, me with my Hermes bags has changed the last year. I don't, haven't done an unboxing for my last three bags. Maybe four. The only ones I have shown are the vintage ones, which are more accessible. I do the unboxings for them because then I can do like a swipe up to to buy similar. So I find that those ones are helpful. Whereas these new ones, I don't find it helpful to unbox them. Years ago I did it, oh, sorry, I get this nervous itch when I'm filming. Years ago I used to show my Hermes bags because like five years ago there weren't many on Instagram, like it was a lot more exclusive to buy them. It's still exclusive, it, it obviously is, but not as much as it is now. And the kind of people that had Hermes bags weren't really doing unboxing, so at the time I found it I thought that it was really helpful for you, for me to show you me unboxing this colour and talking about it. So I think there's so many people doing that now. I think the only benefit of doing that is I, I feel like it's me showing off about my bag. Or like I'm being a bit braggy. So that's just a personal thing for me. I feel like it doesn't help anyone. And then later on when I've used it, I can do like a really informal casual chat about it like why I picked it for people that just like handbag chat why I picked it and if you're looking for a bag what I think about the size and what I think about the color so anytime I show one I want it to be helpful so does that make sense I don't show like me buying them anymore I don't show me doing an unboxing anymore um I've had no requests asking for them I haven't done them for a while and I've had like, no one say to me, oh, I miss you doing them, can you do them again? If anything, I had, like, the opposite. Um, but either way, I mean, if you did really want to see them, I'd take it into consideration, but I feel better. So I just wanted to explain why I don't share the um, Hermes unboxings anymore. I did a video a few months ago explaining that I won't be doing that anymore. And you'll literally just see me wearing one. But then I'd get a lot of the same questions. So I, I've been wearing this, and then I think it's perfect to do a little review. And I wanted to talk about why... I've got two that are so similar and I think it's so helpful to show you these two colours because it's quite hard to pick which one to get. So when I got offered this in Paris, I originally wanted a Cray, a Cray Mini Kelly. That's what I wanted. 
and when I went in, or I wanted him to tote Mini Kelly. What is that? Oh, it's a belt. Um, then I wanted him to tote Mini Kelly. So I went to Paris, got offered this, and I love Natta, and because it was the trio in my favourite colour of all time, try it, try it. Um, and I love all the grey tones, I couldn't refuse this. So this is a really rare, really amazing hard to get bag with all of my favourite colours and I just wanted to have one duo or trio colour so I thought it was perfect to do it in a smaller one so I was really happy with that and I think if he offered me a cray one I probably would have taken this just because of how rare it is and just to get the trio ticked off my list and I do have a Birkin 25 in cray so I still would have taken this one when I got home from Paris my wish list bag came in that Paris got me for my birthday or yeah birthday and he was given the option between Initope or Mini Cray Kelly. And it was a really hard decision for him. And if I'd have got a Cray Kelly, I would have been so happy with that. Because I do think it's different. The, 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 um, the tone is ever so slightly different. Let me show you. So this is more of like an, you know, like English cream. Literally like what my duster's called. This is more of an English cream, like cottage, no, not cottage cream. Like, you know, like Cornish ice cream cream. Like, a, it's not a yellow tone, but it has a slight yellow tone, whereas this has a slight grey tone. So, I still think they're both amazing, but that has got a slight yellow undertone and that's got a slight grey undertone. So, I would have seen them as different, and I'm a Palladium hardware girl, so I would have still picked Palladium hardware. But Paris picked me the Itope which I was over the moon with because it is so different and Etope is my favourite colour. I mean, Chai, I absolutely love, but it's in the same family as Etope. So, and you can see, like, literally my jumper is Etope and I wear this kind of colour all the time. It's just really flattering for my skin tone and most people. And my Etope Kelly 25, which is the one I'm packing, I use it all the time. And when I am travelling, it is kind of my go-to. I can use it as a day bag, I can use it in the evening. I love that bag and no matter what I wear it goes with. So I got that in the in the mini. And as you know, I've got a black one as well, which I pack I've also packed. Um, and then when I was packing, I was thinking I'll take this one, which I think I am gonna still throw in there because it is special. But basically the last thing I wanted on my list, as I was saying that, no care, it's never going to be the last one on your list. Um, the next thing on my wish list along with a few others, was a Cray Mini Constance. Now, I think the Cray, I think the Constance is so underrated. There's so much confusion if, is a, if a Constance is a quota bag. Now, it never used to be a quota bag. I have a black one, um, the bigger one, I think it's 24. I have the black one. Do you want to see the sizes compared? I'm sorry I've got joggers on today, but I'm just packing and cleaning. So that is the larger size and that is the mini and I have a pink mini in this size as well. I'm so happy to have this one, I just think it's um, an amazing practical bag and I'm glad I've got it but I do prefer the mini Constance and it's hard because I know you want an answer from me but I also do really love this. A couple of my friends have got this in like the gold colour. I love it. It literally fits everything and it just looks so good cross -bodied. <clears throat> It is the best cross -body. Put it that way. I mean you can not You can wear it other ways. You can double it up like this. Um, but it is the best looking cross -body. So if I want a really nice bag and I know I'm just going to cross -body it all day, I'd rather this than my Kelly any sizes of my Kelly's because I'll wear it a lot more. Um, a little trick of how to display your constants, can you see this? So you do the top the handle like that and then you roll this in. It's quite hard not having it on a flat surface. But this is how I display my constants. There you go, can you see that? So that's how you display our constants because if you put it inside the the strap inside the bag it will get really distorted and otherwise it's hanging all over the place so that is how you display a constant so I'll put that one back I'll just put it there for now so then I don't have to get up because I'm being lazy so I love the mini constants it fits a little bit more than a mini Kelly I can't I can fit my vlogging camera in here but it feels a bit tight and then I can't fit anything else whereas this it fits my iPhone it's still a mini bag so it fits my iPhone Plus, I always put that in the front pocket. So the Constance has got um, 
This is the first one I've got actually with the mirror. Um, it's got two little flaps at the front, one big one at the front, one smaller compartment at the front and then one big one. So I always put my phone at the front and then I have enough room for my coin purse, which is downstairs, and my vlogging camera. So that is why I really love this bag because it's a mini. It is the most amazing crossbody and it just fits everything in. So you can just see how literally, like this is probably what I'm going to wear to the airport. I'm not a very um, fancy airport person. Might change the joggers, these are a bit much, aren't they? I don't wanna move the camera too much, but that's how you can see it on me, the mini. I'm five foot six, I love this bag so much. It's just so underrated. Um, absolutely love this colour. I wear a lot of black, grey, browns, and you can see how, like the beige, you can see how that tone, it just really, really suits my wardrobe. Um, and as much as I love my Cray Birkin 25, that's my special order bag, it's got green pearl inside. As much as I love that bag, and if I could get a choice to do a special order again, or buy a B25 in any colour, I would still pick that. I absolutely love a B25 and I love that colour and I love the combination that I did for my special order. But a Birkin 25, it's amazing for the uses that it has, like a meeting or basically when I'm with my two-year-old son, it's not a good bag because you need, you, you need a crossbody basically, like any mum will know. And I still like having my nice bags, but it is the worst kind of mum bag. It fits a lot in, actually. Like, you fit all the snacks and all the bottles and a nappy. You can literally fit so much. But I feel like I need my hands free. So this does that. It's my one of my favourite all-time colours. I rave about Cray. I absolutely love it. This is my London Duster um, from Ruth Sloan. And that is, I call it like Natter. So you can see that that looks so nice, the tonal contrast. And then if I was to have the natter, you can see it's more, it's basically the same tone. And I just love, I love wearing different kind of tonal, different looks. So yeah, that's my, that was my wishlist bag. I didn't have to wait too long for this at all, but I'm so happy with it. It's one of the less exciting ones because it's a constant and it didn't used to be a quota, but it is made more desirable now because it is a quota in England. I have heard rumours from certain friends that their essays have said, oh, don't worry, and they're not even spending that much. Like, I have heard things about this, that it's not, I've heard it from free people that they're letting them have them on top of their quota bags. And I've also heard stories about people going to Paris. I've seen it on Instagram where people pick up a Constance and a Kelly in the same day in the same appointment. I've not ever had that. I've never been able to get a Constance on the same day and I, had this as a quota and I had it uh, last year so it's not affected this year and I'm so happy with that. Um, I would get another Constance, I feel like I'm done. I've got a couple of bags on my wish list, but they're more exceptional ones. They're not like tonal predictable ones, they're more like, um, yeah you'll see, they're more exceptional. I think you can only go so far. When, I think when you get to the amount of Hermes bags I've got, you, you, the next step is exotics. And mine will be exploring more vintage. I'm not into exotics. I would explore more vintage and the more exceptional bags. So I think my route of Hermes has changed a bit, which I'm really excited for. But I'm still really excited about Hermes. Any like play money, as I call it, after savings and bills and renovations, any spare money that I treat myself to, it's still all about the Hermes for me. So like classic, longevity, ready to wear and Hermes bags. I'm still about that. Um, so yeah, that's my new bag. I think it goes so well in my collection of what I wear. Like, look at this little family here of, like, the minis with my black. It's packed, I've told you that. But I'm just absolutely loving my collection. I love every single bag that I have. I'm just so happy with it. And I'm really, really excited about this Constance because there's some bags that I get, like the red one, for example. I love that. Like, I don't sell any of my bags. I love, 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 love it. But... I only wear it now and again, and I have to be a little bit caught. Like, no, I'm not precious about it, but I am a bit cautious with it. Like, I don't want to throw it around on the floor. Not that I'm going to throw any bag around the floor, but I'm ultra careful that it doesn't touch anything because I don't want it to be scratched. 
I have said before, if it does scratch, it's fine, which I stand by, but I would rather prevent it. I'm not going out of my way to scratch my bags. Plus, it's red. It's a little bit awkward sometimes to wear crossbody. I mean, it's not. It's fine. But I'm excited about this because I know how much I love Cray, and it's so... Like, I'll take this on holiday, and I guarantee you this will be my most worn bag because I can wear it in the day, in the evening, on, um, like, a dinner, like, date night. Obviously, on our own, will be with us. Or I wear it shopping or just running around. I know I'm going to wear it so much and it's going to be an amazing bag. I'm talking far too long about this bag. But yes, new mini Constance. I think it's called the 18. I'm losing my mind now. Yes, because the mini is a 20. So yes, it's 18. Um, have I got that right? Cray Palladium Hardware. Obsessed of it. Totally obsessed of it. So do follow me on Instagram. I'll be wearing it so much, especially over my trip. I tend to be doing a lot of Insta stories lately of my outfits. Let me know if you prefer that or more grid photos. I'm trying to work out what I do this year. Um, but yeah, my new Hermes bag, my new improved face. And that's it. I'm going to go film one of the room reveals now. It'll probably be my next video. So do make sure you're subscribed. Do make sure you follow me on at Claire Chanel on Instagram. Do make sure you follow me on at Claire Chanel home. We'll be going to France the end of... I don't even know now. We're going soon and we're going to be um, starting renovations of that. So lots of exciting things this year. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Or I'll see you over on Instagram.